Good morning vlog! It is day three-ish of Taiwan. I guess technically the second full day, but I just got ready. I am about to go meet Michael. We're gonna go to this kombucha shop that his friend owns and he's surprising him. Like he literally didn't tell him he's coming. So that should be exciting. And then we are gonna get some Taiwanese breakfast. I haven't had Taiwanese breakfast yet since I've been here. So definitely a must. But also I wanted to show you guys the kitchen looks amazing right now of the Airbnb. Okay, first off, let me show you this nice view like look at that huge window it's so beautiful okay and to get ready ah look at the lighting oh my gosh dude i literally wish i could make some like boba drink videos at this windowsill like look at the perfect sun are you freaking joking oh this kitchen is goals honestly this whole airbnb is goals because like it's just amazing, beautiful. Anyway, just wanted to show you guys that. But yeah, I'm about to head out. I'm gonna take the MRT, which I'm really excited about because I freaking love the MRT. It's so easy to use, it's very convenient, and I haven't used it yet since I've been here. We've just kind of been Ubering around slash taxiing around. So let's go in the MRT. Okay, Michael's friend wasn't there. So we're going to eat lunch first. Hopefully, by the time we're done eating lunch, he'll be there and we can surprise him. That'd be so fun. But anyway, now we're gonna go eat. Are you using it as a phone? <laughs> the way? Ring ring way? <laughs> Oh my gosh, you guys, we are at Zhou Fin, which is the town that inspired Spirited Away. And you can see the view. Look at that. It's beautiful. We wanted to eat some stuff, but I don't know if we will end up eating because it's just so crowded. But I also know that I'm gonna come here with Bird when Bird comes to Taiwan in a few weeks. So maybe I'll eat some stuff then. I don't know, we'll see what happens. But we just wanna see the view and like the pretty lanterns and stuff. Very pretty. <laughs>
Good morning vlog! It is day four of Taipei. Oh my gosh, I'm getting, I'm losing track of the days. But anyway, we are at Yongkangje, also known as Yongkang Street. And this is a very famous food street. We actually went to Din Tai Fung to try to get a number, but they aren't handing out numbers for another like 30 minutes or so. So we walked over to my favorite street food in Taiwan, the flaky green onion pancakes, also known as Tong Zua Bing. This place is called Tianjin Tong Zua Bing. And it's just this tiny little cart that sells the most amazing green onion pancakes, which we are about to eat. I'm so excited. I literally was telling Michael that I've been looking forward to this moment all year, all year. Like this is one of my last meal items for sure. Okay, Michael's about to try it. I told him if he doesn't like it, I'm gonna cry. So no pressure. <laughs> Nods of approval. I'm hearing mmms. This is a good sign. The basil's really nice. It helps like brighten it up. Yeah, it's so good, right? And the scallion pancake is so nice and crispy, but it also has a nice doughiness. Yes, it's, it's like just... chewy and flaky. Mm. It's so good. Hachima. Hachima! Hachima! That means yummy! It's glorious. Okay, we just stopped by this place called OMG Bakery that sells pineapple buns. But before that, we also stopped by Wu Lan, also known as 50 Lan. And this is a very popular boba chain in Taiwan. It's definitely been one of my favorites for years and I'm very excited to have it. So I just got the normal boba milk tea. And of course we got to use our Fee Mei Glass Boba Straw. Link will be in the description as always. Woo. All the cups in Taiwan are like paper cups. So you can't see the boba on the inside, but let's give it a try. Oh, they can see you! <laughs> mm. The boba is a really nice texture. It's like soft and chewy, but not mushy at all. Like a lot of places, they'll be soft and chewy, but it has this like mushy outer layer. This definitely doesn't have that. It's just like bouncy all the way through, which I personally like. I have to say though that the tea flavor is not super strong. The milk tea itself, I feel like is lacking a little bit today. But the boba texture is good. From OMG Bakery, we also got this matcha pineapple bun. It's like right next to 50 Land, so we just decided to try it because I was very intrigued by all the different flavors of pineapple bun that they had. Let's give it a try. Hmm, this is very interesting because it's like super fluffy like bread and it's not like sweet like a normal pineapple bun is. The sweetness is only from the top and even the top is not that sweet either. Interesting. Not Michelin, but Washelin. Is this real? <laughs> I'm so confused. <gasps> Not super creamy, but the flavor's good. And the toppings are fun to eat. Hello vlog. This is a midday check-in. Sorry, I think some of the vlogs might be kind of like, in Chinese you call it lunchy ba zao, like kind of messy I guess, because I am filming a main channel video at the same time as I'm vlogging. So yeah, for all the food, I'm gonna have it in a main channel video, like what to eat in Taipei. But on the vlog, I'm just taking you guys along with us like on the day to day. But anyway, right now we are at the Taipei 101 MRT station. We just got off and we are going to Chun Shui Tang, which is the OG boba place, the place that invented boba or so they say to have invented boba in 1986 and yeah i really want to take michael there because they're the inventors of boba of course we have to go when we're in taiwan so we're going to their taipei 101 location although they do have a lot of other locations around taipei and the original is actually in taichung which is a different city than taipei yeah let's go get some boba even though we already had boba today but it's okay we're in taiwan you gotta have as much boba as possible <laughs> 
Wow, look at that building, it's so tall. And there's Din Tai Fung here. This is the really popular Din Tai Fung too. The one that we went to is the original. The Taipei 101 is also like as popular or the second popular one in Taiwan. The peppermint line is already long. Hello vlog, we just got our flour rice noodles and Michael already ate some of his. I still need to film mine for the main channel, but Michael's gonna try the intestines. <laughs> you don't usually like intestines, right? Um, Korean barbecue, but it's pretty rare that I'll order it. Oh, okay. Ooh. I'm kind of scared for you and me. <laughs> yeah, that's not for me. Oh, that's definitely not for me. Oh no! I don't know if I'll try it. I don't know if I'm as brave. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> anyway, I have to film this for the main channel. It's supposed to look like this, but you can't see it in the cup. <laughs> Michael got a papaya milk from Taipei Milk King. I've never had this before, so like I haven't had this place. Right. Yeah, I've had, of course, had papaya milk before, but not this brand, so I don't know if it's good, but we'll try it. <laughs> I want to get your reaction to trying it for the first time. Hopefully, it's good. Hopefully. It doesn't taste like anything. Wait, what? I'm not even kidding you. It tastes like water? <laughs> no, it's like a very faint, very faint. Papaya taste? Papaya, yeah, but it's mm. not like as strong as I was expecting. Okay, let me try it. Not bad, but... It's there, but it's not that strong. Yeah. This one's nice in the sense that it's not as sweet yeah. as like 7-Eleven and stuff. Oh, it's 7-Eleven sweet. It's pretty sweet, but you should try the 7-Eleven one too. It's okay. Not the best that I've had for sure. potato can lead to big changes. <laughs> I don't know what that means. This is a grapefruit drink. I don't even like grapefruit, but not bad. We're trying to find a good papaya milk place. So we just passed by this one and Michael's gonna give it a try. Hopefully it's good. Hang on to your dreams, it says. Quitters never win and winners never quit. Second papaya milk of the day. Let's see if it's good. Hopefully. No? <laughs> Better, but need more stronger papaya flavor. We're still on the hunt. <laughs> we 
We are at the Chiang Kai-shek Memorial Hall. This is the theater and then this Look at that! It's huge. Actually, all of these buildings are huge. It's wild. Very beautiful. Definitely recommend visiting when you're in Taipei. <laughs> Two, three. Nice. All right, we're trying this place called Kanjing Dan Dan something. Mm. Nai. Something Nai. I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> my favorite boba place that used to be across from the Gua Bao place closed a few years ago and they never reopened. So I'm trying to find a new favorite boba place. Hopefully, this is it. I got their brown sugar boba with milk. Mmm. Boom. Mmm. The boba has a nice brown sugar flavor. And then since it's just milk, it's not too sweet. It balances it out really well. This is better than the Xingfu Tong we had earlier today. Mm. Hello vlog, I am back at the Airbnb now. And oh my gosh, these past few days have been so tiring. We've just been like, go, go, go all day. You know, we're trying to fit as many things as possible. I'm also filming for the main channel. So it's hard for me to like keep up with the vlog and make sure that I'm like talking to you guys on the vlog rather than just filming and talking for the main channel and stuff. But yeah, we ate so much stuff today, a lot of street food. And it's just been really fun to like revisit some of my favorites from years ago and just know that they're just as good as I remember and that they're still there. There are a few things that have closed since then, but overall I'm just having such a good time in Taiwan. I feel so lucky that I can be here and I also just love sharing my love for Taiwan with you guys and with my friend who's visiting and just in general. It's just nice to like you know show someone a place that you love and that you're so passionate about and yeah I hope these Taiwan videos can be like a little tour guide for you guys. Like I'm your personal tour guide showing you all my favorite places in Taiwan. Also showing you guys new places that I'm trying for the first time and letting you guys know if they're worth going to, if they're worth trying. And so yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying Vlogmas so far. I'm enjoying filming these vlogs for you guys. And I only have two more full days in Taiwan before I head over to Japan, which I'm so, so, so excited about, especially we're gonna to go to Tokyo Disney, which has been my dream for so long. So I'm extra, extra, extra excited to share that with you guys too. All right, so I'm gonna end the vlog here. If you made it this far, comment below. Hope you find some good papaya milk. <laughs> kind of a long one. But anyway, I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Bye.